What's that? Excuse me? Oh. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, this? This? You mean this bag? This backpack right here? You talking about this backpack? Oh. You wanna know what's inside my backpack? Well, we can do that. Hello, as of late neglected second channel audience. You'll have to... There's nothing I can do about how fucking bright it is. You might be thinking, you know, just like pull some curtains down, right? But I already did. I already did that. It's just very bright. I guess I could... I guess I could do that. Just kind of looks like I live in a homeless shelter. But I mean, it does anyway, so I don't know what that really matters. Also, the green shirt with the green pants and the shaved head is a vibe that uh, I don't know what I think of military dad hours. I thought it could be fun to walk you through my ghost hunting bag. She just found a hair tie back there. As you may or may not know, I'm gonna be going out on another ghost hunt soon. Uh, actually in just a few days. And so obviously I've been preparing for that. And one of the things that I've done is that I have bought a camera backpack. Last time I carried everything in this huge shoulder bag and then I had another backpack. Nice, good job. Yeah, you're doing good? <laughs> What's happening? Such graceful creatures. So I bought a camera bag. And the point of this video here today, I thought, is for me to walk you through the contents of my ghost hunting bag. So let's do that. <sighs> So here he is. So here she is. He's trying both out. He or she. It's a he. This is a guy. This is a little guy. So let's do a walkthrough of what I've got in here to capture uh, the spooky ghouls and goblins on tape. So starting with the most obvious on the outside, this thing is clasped and we'll get back to it. Then we open it up and we are presented with camera number one. This guy. This is the Canon X810. This is a camera I've had for 10 years at this point. It's old. It looks cool and professional and all, but it's old and it's not great. This is the camera that I will be wielding when we're out. Best feature about this, it's got night vision, that classic green looking night vision. In the same pouch, audio recorder, the Zoom H2N and a handle, you never know. Because we're not doing any lavalier mics. Last time they sounded awful, so this time we're just doing mic on top of the camera like this. So if there's anything where I'm like further away, I can use this. Then we got some tapes. We'll get back to those. And actually I should find a muff for this. If you haven't caught on, uh, this is kind of the reason I'm actually doing this. I'm walking through my own inventory to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, and here's the first thing. I need to find like a wind protector for this guy. Got it. Just pull that over there. It's got so much cat hair on it. And now we're good. I'm gonna put this back inside. And next I can mention that in this outer pocket uh, are all of the fucking camera chargers and shit. Not very interesting. However, moving on to the back of the bag. This is where all the interesting stuff happens. All right, I can mention as well that here on the side, we've got a tripod and the mini tripod. Okay, so here we got the interesting stuff. Where do we start? Let's start here. This is the main camera that John will be using to shoot ghost guys. And this will go on to this. Allow me to demonstrate. There. And then the audio cable goes into here. And there we go. So John can just kind of hold it like this. If he needs light, turn it on like that. Solid two-hand grip. A wide angle attachment lens on the camera. Decent microphone, good handling, easy to use, right? So this is for John. Next up, we've got the eight millimeter, uh, AKA VHS cam for uh, vibe shots. Establishing shots of the locations, some spooky B-roll. No fucking way. Oh wait, is it because it doesn't have any tape in it? Uh, let's try, it's good to know. I open up a brand new tape here. So now there's a tape in there. Let's see if it works now. Boom, there we go, cool. Yeah, so this one also has a light on it, built in. It's got like a built-in wide angle adapter as well, which is really cool. 
I think this will give some really nice moody shots. In here is also a little light. This one is supposed to go on my camera, the black one that's up there. So that's three cameras. And then I've actually packed a fourth one, a really small, shitty old camcorder. So this is just like a bonus camera, a backup camera. It's a small little guy that we could plop down anywhere. It's got a memory card in it. And then I've actually attached a shitty little DIY memory card holder to it for its second card. Because this camera is so old, it only takes very specific memory cards. So let's put this back inside of here. And next up, uh, this is new. We got this guy. I know the focus doesn't ever want to focus on anything that's too close. Oh, there we go. So we got this one, this little guy. So with this, you just hit record. If there are any spirits with us here in this room, uh, please make yourself known. Then you just stop it, rewind the tape and listen back. What the f Got a couple of extra tapes for that as well. Then there's one little pocket here with just all the various extra batteries and stuff. Let's get this camera back in the bag. And that's pretty much everything. About four cameras, a digital audio recorder, an analog audio recorder, little light for this camera, got a light on this one, external mic on that camera, external mic on that camera, and oh, yes, right, there's... Come on, man. You focused on the other thing. Can't you do it on this? Whatever, man. I can't. This is the Kodak Ektar H35. An analog camera with three rolls of ISO 800 film, meaning that uh, especially with the flash on, uh, they should be able to take pictures in pretty dark environments. Because like in my head, I'm thinking that ghosts, they're kind of cottage core, right? Or they're kind of like, vintage lovers. They want to talk through cassette tapes and film photography, not like iPhone footage. Uh, so we got an analog camcorder, analog audio recorder, analog photo camera, just to maximize our chances. And then I just kind of fold that down, hang it on the outside like so, and then I'm ready to go, baby. And that's about it. That's all I had for this video. Thought I'd go through my packing, show you off some of the professional ghost hunting gear that I'm bringing and uh, giving you a quick shout out for being subscribed to the second channel where I post uh, the sloppiest slop. As of late, it's mostly been like shitty little acoustic covers. Glad some of you have liked those. If you don't, that's fine. I've said it before. Got an alarm ringing there. I've said it before. Uh, this channel is not... I'm never gonna try too hard <laughs> with Extra Jet. Might have other secondary channels or third channels or whatever in the future where I try something specific or actually try to make it viable or make it anything. Uh, for now, this channel is for the slop. It's for the... It's for the hardcore audience. If you really wanna hear me talk, if you really wanna see me do whatever, yeah, this is the place to find it. Thank you so much for watching. I am gonna try to fix my fucking monitor. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like glitchy lines kind of blinking on it. Yeah, this is a new monitor. The monitor I had before this one, this is completely unrelated, but I just need to complain. The monitor I had before this one was a Samsung monitor and it got like a similar issue and it broke. So of course I went ahead and I bought another Samsung. Could have bought any brand but I went with Samsung and it is showing similar glitch problems. So you can kind of consider this an anti-sponsorship. Whatever the opposite of a sponsorship is. If you're in the market for a monitor, don't ever fucking buy a Samsung monitor. They suck. They're terrible. They're a little bit cheaper than a lot of the other brands but it's not worth it. You'd think that with a brand name like Samsung they'd be fine but they're not. They're essentially AliExpress level stuff. So uh, don't get Samsung monitors. Get yourself a ghost hunting bag if you need one. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, see you another time. Bye bye.